Robert Smalls was a 23-year-old slave pressed into service for the Confederacy aboard a warship called the Planter. For nearly a year, he quietly observed the movements of the ship and its crew. Just before dawn on May 13, 1862, Smalls took his chance. While the ship's officers slept ashore, he and his fellow slave crewmen pulled anchor and eased the planter into Charleston Harbor. They had prearranged to meet their family members and to pick them up and then come back down the peninsula and they begin the process, and this is in the wee hours of the morning, of sailing out of the harbor. They are embarked now on an extremely dangerous journey. Smalls knew these waters like the back of his hand, but he also knew the risk that lay ahead. Four Confederate checkpoints, Castle Pinckney, Fort Ripley, Fort Johnson, and Fort Sumter. Isn't Smalls afraid of being caught? How in the world is a black slave going to pull this off? He's extremely afraid of, of being caught. He disguises himself as the captain and also mimics the captain's gait as he walked back and forth across the wheelhouse. Small slipped past the first three checkpoints undetected. The most dangerous checkpoint remained, Fort Sumter, with its mighty guns and fearsome cannons. Discovery would mean certain death. As dawn broke, the crew urged Smalls to take a wide berth, but changing course could arouse suspicion. Smalls gave the signal. A few seconds later, the counter signal came back. Pass on by. So they're safe, right? They're free? Well. They're not completely free, because now we have the situation where a Confederate flagged vessel is sailing out, and it begins to approach the vessels of the Union Naval Blockading Force. Fortunately, the vessel was not fired on. As astonished Union officers boarded the planter, Small stood at attention, saluted, and spoke. I am delivering this war material, including these cannons, and I think Uncle Abraham Lincoln can put them to good use. 